So I've just been listening to Gareth Howard of Authorite PR talking in the Author Lounge about marketing and marketing your book and how important it is. So I've got Gareth with me now and I'm going to ask you, Gareth, to yes. tell us a bit more about what was what you've been talking about in there. Yeah, so what we've been what we've been discussing is the importance of marketing and in fact do authors need to market their books? Uh, and the simple answer is to that what I was saying is yes they do. Uh, and this this applies not only to authors that are traditionally published, but also authors that are looking to self-publish. And one of the big things that we see as well is where authors, uh, a friend of mine in particular who's a, a traditionally published author, she, re she really felt, believed, that when she was picked up by a big, well-known publisher, that everything would be done, everything would be catered for, that suddenly there would be this massive marketing budget. And of course, there actually, there, there isn't. Um, it, the books, like anything, are a product, you know, and, and big publishers need to make money on it, they need to sell them. So when they make the investment to uh, publish somebody's work, if they have X marketing budget, they, what, they te what tends to happen is that marketing budget is put onto authors where they know that they're going to recoup that money back. So if you're a first time author, even if it's with a big well known publisher, and you've only got an initial print run of 1,000, 2,000 books, there's not going to necessarily be much of a marketing budget because they're not going to get that money back. And of course, if you're self publishing, it, it is even more the case that it is down to you. Uh, but the author is, in, in any sphere, the author is one of the best marketing tools for their work. That's why here at the, uh, the book fair, we have the likes of Hilary Mantle speaking. You know, the book fair is a wonderful thing and it's, it's enjoyable doing those things, but it is also a marketing exercise. So what kinds of things can authors do to publicise their book? There are a lot of things that an author can do. Part of it is about online presence. Obviously that is becoming more and more important. Uh, embracing that, the, those new technologies or new ways of uh, getting your voice out there through the likes of Twitter and Facebook. But having an online presence with a website is very important. Having a good PR campaign as the book comes out is important. Um, things like the cover itself is a marketing tool. People, contrary to belief, people do judge a book by its cover. So it is important that that is done well. But there are also a whole new raft of uh, multimedia and new, te and, and new technology as well. Um, we see that with things like the, the iPad that's coming out. And in fact, video uh, interviews of authors, of course, is one of the things that is becoming uh, more popular and, uh, and can be a, a good way of getting your message out there and putting a name to a face and uh, for authors to be able to uh, see and understand the voice and the tone of the author. Uh, and of course, like as... Dumb. Functionality is added to things like ebooks and uh, iPad uh, or iPhone apps. That kind of video content is also becoming uh, more relevant. The difficult thing is do they do it themselves or do they get someone like us to help? Um, and the honest answer to that is that you can do the, these things yourself as an author, but it's my analogy is always one of being a plasterer, that you can have a go at plastering a wall, but whether or not it ends up being smooth or lumpy. <laughs> and I know, having tried to plaster a wall myself, that it didn't end up being smooth. But um, <laughs> the authors can, we see, when we work with an author, we see the whole process as being collaborative. Uh, it's not just that everything's passed over to us, we work together with the author, that's very important. Um, so the author plays a role. I think that it is important to have a, a PR professional, someone like us, on board to help because there are ways to write a press release, there are ways to contact the media, ways to pitch the book and often you have one chance at this, you know, you've published your book, it's probably taken years to get to this point and we've got an eight, we tend to work with an author say over an eight week period with a PR campaign, in that eight weeks you don't want to spoil the ship for a haberth of tar, you know, you want to do it well and you've got one shot at doing that. Mm -hmm.